Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are inching closer to what could possibly be a groundbreaking historical event for the Washington Commanders franchise, which is a change in ownership. Now, we don't expect to really hear anything until possibly Sunday from what reports are saying. And I'm sure that there's going to be leaks here and there, but Everything has been pretty much hush-hush as far as who the next owner will be. Now, certainly we've had people who have tried to scoop the um, the news, and I think they're just kind of throwing uh, darts against the dartboard, you know, being blindfolded and hoping that they hit the bullseye. And, you know, the bullseye, instead of it being like this, it, it's probably like this. So, you know, because... In the end, you're probably only going to have really two major bidders who would be the guys truly um, that are going to have a a good chance at at winning the bid to be the next owner of the Washington Commanders. Of course, one being Jeff Bezos, the other being uh, Josh Harris. Well, and of course, we have yet to really hear anything official that Jeff Bezos has even put in a bid for the Washington Commanders. So as of yet today, we don't even know if he has. But we're assuming, since Jeff Bezos is, you know, the richest man in in the entire world, that whatever bid that he puts down would be the winning bid, because obviously he can afford anything. So he hasn't put a bid down yet. But then there's this dark horse that some of the sports media kept talking about that there was this third billionaire bidder. Well, I will say a fourth because we forgot about um, the the other gentleman who runs the uh, uh, the casinos who was interested in owning an NFL sports franchise. There were reports that it felt like that he had kind of dropped out, so I haven't really been counting him as much. Um, but we go back to this other dark horse bidder, and we found out who this guy was, this Canadian billionaire. And, of course, he has to have this last name that um, some yours truly is probably going to murder. Uh, Steve Apostol... <laughs> Apostolopoulos. 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 Hmm. Maybe that's right. I don't know. Uh, but he put in a bid for the commanders, or he joins the bidders. So we're assuming he did put in a bid. He's a Canadian billionaire. Uh, he's one of the newest potential bidders. Um and he toured the Washington Commander Stadium and, and training facilities, and he seeks to buy a franchise, as the league told ESPN. He is also interested, or was pursuing a chance at purchasing the Charlotte Hornets from Michael Jordan. So he is very interested in ordering, owning some sort of sports franchise, whether it be the Washington Commanders or whether it be the Charlotte Hornets. Now, I don't have any other information as far as you know, his experience in, in owning sports franchises. So, I, you know, it, it's weird. When I was uh, watching uh, Rick Snyder's video on this last night, and, you know, and he, he talked about how... Um, about how Snyder and this this fellow seem like they may have had a good relationship or, or whatever. I don't I don't know. I don't know where this guy came from. Maybe it was a bidder that Snyder had, you know, encouraged to come and bid for the team. Really, I don't know. It threw up red flags to me. There's something about this guy that just screamed, no, no. I don't know what it is. I don't know this guy from Adam, but there was, you know how you get this sixth sense about certain individuals. You try not to judge them, 
but there's just something about it that you're like something seems off and and it just seemed off with this particular person now uh, this gentleman is worth um i think a hair below four billion dollars so um and kind of like josh harris he would need to partner with other billionaires in order to be successful with winning the the bid for the Washington Commanders. And right now, we don't know of any other billionaires that he would partner with in order to actually, um, you know, win the bid for, for the team. And quite frankly, it sounds like the NFL wants final bids by the the owners meeting which is officially supposed to start on Monday so I don't know I think this might have been just a ploy to try to see at the 11th hour if you can up the bid a little bit on Josh Harris but I really think at this point it's Josh Harris or it's going to be Jeff Bezos coming in at the very last second and doing the price is right thing where he throws in the extra dollar above the bit. Well, it's not going to be an extra dollar. It might be an extra billion dollars, actually. You know, maybe maybe Josh Harris has the six billion. And he says, I got six billion right here for you. And Jeff Bezos goes, look, you know what? Snyder, I'm going to do this for you. I'll give you $7 billion if you just leave the country. And Snyder would be probably ignorant not to take that. I, I, you know, if I was in his shoes, I would take the $7 billion. So, yeah. So, you know, that could be what Jeff Bezos is waiting on. You know, almost ready to have ink to paper. And then he swoops in, says, nope, I'll give you this and it's a done deal. So there's still time yet for that to happen, but I think the NFL, the other owners, want wants this deal to be done. And I think we will find out probably by Sunday who the next owner will be. I don't think it's going to be this Canadian billionaire. I could be very wrong, but I think this was just kind of one of those business tactics to try to up you know, the, the uh, price on, on the sale. Uh, but I still think it's, uh, it's Josh Harris being the, the front runner. And I feel more comfortable with him, especially now with uh, Magic Johnson coming on board with it. You know, Johnson, Johnson has had some experience uh, owning sports franchises, actually uh, part of the Dodgers. And from what I understand, the Dodgers have had more success with uh, Johnson. So that could be a good thing uh, for, for Josh Harris. So, you know, th this kind of sweetens the pot. So let's see what happens. Uh, but I think at this point, anybody but Snyder. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, give it a share with all your friends. It helps the algorithm. I know I say that all the time, but it really does. Um, leave me a comment. Let's talk about it. What do you think about... Do you know anything about this, Steve? Something, something, something. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 <laughs> Do you know anything about this guy at all? I don't. I have no idea about this guy. Never heard of him before yesterday. So... You know, do you get the strange red flags that I do? Because I really do. Um, folks, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, uh, give it a like. If you want to support me in other ways, I have an Etsy page. Um, it's called Envy Artwork. Um, I've got all sorts of stuff on here. Um, I've been actually selling these Washington Commanders mugs. Um, uh, I've got Washington Redskins. Uh, garden and house uh, banners, Dallas Cowboys. I've got Cincinnati Bengals. I even have it for the Kansas City Chiefs or Super Bowl champions. Uh, you never know. New ownership may change the name. So I did something for Red Wolves, alternate logos for Commanders. Again, Red Hogs, because you never know. 
Um, I, I did band t-shirts. I did stuff for kids. Um, and then, then I've got like really cool abstract artwork, uh, metal art designs. I've got stuff on canvas, um, different mediums, uh, mediums for that as well. So just check it out. It's Envy Artwork. It's from Etsy. And I think that you will enjoy what you see. Um, you're helping me out quite a bit. And as well, you're getting something really cool in return. So folks, thank you for joining this podcast today. And I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.